Check this out. <laughs> Look at that paint. I mean, I know the jig head is awesome as well. It's actually one that I designed. It's uh, that mold right there. That will be on the channel soon enough, but today we're focusing on this powder paint. Look at that. This is Watermelon with Black Vein by Barlow's, and it is fabulous, but it gets better. I actually have another as well. Another bladed jig head. This one is white with silver vein. Look at that, same head, but white with silver vein and it likewise is absolutely stunning. Love these things so much. Actually, Dan over at uh, Small Jaw, the Small Jaw channel, he's been using a couple of them. I saw a couple of videos with him, liked it enough to get those two. Wanted to try them out and uh, they're fantastic. So, I ended up <laughs> buying the entire line, all 12 of them, and we're going to take a look at all of them today. So get you guys adjusted here. As you can see, we've got the eight cup fluid bed out. These will float in a fluid bed. I have tested them, monkeyed around with them. There's one of them that's a little heavy but it is possible, all 12 will float, so if you're a fluid bed guy like I am, keep that in mind. Of course, you can always just dip them and all of that good stuff as well. I should caveat that though, because if your pump isn't strong enough, you may not be able to float these. If you have one of the cheap pumps from uh, Walmart, like $13, just these little things, that's not, gonna, that's not gonna do it. These are a little bit on the heavier side, so you need Something with a little bit more gusto. All right, the uh, jig heads that we will be using today. I've already poured these. This is a 3 16 freestyle. Uh, if you're curious, this is a 2 aught VMC Barbarian hook. Just a mean looking setup. If you're not familiar with vein paints, it's basically a base color. And then as you cure it, sometimes even before you put it in the oven, it almost like cracks or marbleizes and kind of pulls apart and it shows these awesome veins throughout. So you get a two, co two color with texture look with one paint in the old fluid bed or dipping in the cup. Got the first four rolling here, I'll show you. Didn't want to deal with running all eight because I got to turn up the power and all that other stuff and then you got to dial in each one, but four at a time will be more than enough. There they are, just burbling right away. Here we go. About eight seconds on the heat. We'll put our uh, heat shrink tubing on. That is 330 seconds. A little more heat. Shrink the tubing into our first color which is one that you have already seen, but it was a good place to start. Pop that tubing off before it uh, sets while it's still nice and soft. Watermelon with black vein. There we go. And it'll actually uh, cure a little bit more. Sometimes you'll see those veins pop out even more after you uh, get them in the oven. Next color, which is light green pumpkin with black vein. There was our eight seconds. On with our tubing. Shrink it and dip it. Now this one is interesting, at least I find it interesting, because it's light green pumpkin with black vein, but uh, I don't get, I mean I guess there's some black in there. It, it strikes me as more of a light green pumpkin with lighter veins, not with black veins. See that? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. 
See that? I mean, what an awesome look though. Holy moly. So you can kind of see the darker side there. But those veins, I don't know. It's a good mix. I don't care what it's called. It's freaking awesome. Next up, blue with black vein. Here we go. Warmed up. Got my stuff on. You know, the eye stuff. Oh yeah. Looking dynamite once again. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Yeah. Beautiful blue, black vein. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wish it would stay in focus. There we go. Killer. Absolutely dynamite. My mind goes to like if you had, uh, like I do, I, I have a disco, not disco. Uh, la, 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 la. Where is it? It's the clear flake, uh, clear plastic with flake in it that, that Do It makes, or, or Protect makes rather. There is a blue flake. You could add that. There's even a black flake. You could like dip this in it afterwards. I bet you that would be dynamite. All right, what's up next? Black with gold vein. Now this one will look similar if you're familiar with the uh, uh, gold mine, silver mine, copper mine. See if you guys think it looks familiar. All right, here we go. This one's a little heavier. Doesn't come up in the cup quite as far. <laughs> Uh, I'm watching it vein out as I talk. This is one of those ones that will probably show more vein um, after it's cured, like once it's in the oven for a while, curing up. But look at that. See how it breaks apart there? Gives you that sweet, broken up kind of veiny look. Really nice. Definitely reminds me of Gold Mine but there's more there's more gold in this we'll see what it looks like after it cures but if i had to choose between the two i think i'm giving this one the nod so i closed those first four down you can see there cleaned them up closed them down got the next four up and rolling let me show you there they are just bubbling away first one of the new four black with silver vein you changed your angle thought you might like a different view this one would be the silver mine equivalent plus I'm curious to see what the lighting is light over here Let's see if it's any better oh yeah isn't that nice yeah killer color so nice Silvermine, oh well, the version of Silvermine in his vein paint, and much like the gold, if I had to choose, I actually like this one better. What's up next? Purple black. Purple with black vein. There we go. Swish it around. These have all been um, single dips, by the way. No double dipping yet. I don't think that I had to double dip any of these when I was playing with them earlier. And instead of getting on my dang knees, like I have been, hurting my knees because I have a cement floor in here, I grabbed my chair. All right, let's check this out. There we go. Get a little closer. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, man, that looks good. Put a chartreuse eye right in the middle of that guy. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going to do with it when I use it. Purple and chartreuse. Shut up. I just love the texture. I love when you get two things out of one. We do color shift in the soft plastic world. We do color shift here, painting stuff. This is not color shift, but when you can get two effects in one dip and it's that easy, Dag. I'm all over it every time. Alright, that was purple, orange with black vein. This one 
was a, a bit of a surprise to me. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think of it in the comments, but orange with black vein. Dip swizzle. So this one reminds me of the uh, light green pumpkin with black vein because I don't think it's a black vein. <laughs> Let me get real close, get you in there. See that? It's like a dark brown with an orange vein to me, which I think, by the way, is absolutely spectacular. If I had to choose, I would want it this way. So even though it's orange with black vein, know that this is actually what you get. And in my opinion, it's better. One more look. Killer. Seven down. We are over halfway done. Next one you guys have already seen before, but again, it's worth it because the freestyle is awesome. So, uh, white with silver vein. There we go. Now, I was looking over at the camera while I was doing that. Y'all be honest. Does this shirt make me look fat? I look like a box. What the heck, man? Anyway, white <coughs> with silver vein. Just as good looking as the first one. So, so good. Love this color. Man, is it good. All right, well, I ran out of cups, so give me a second. Let me reset. And reset I have, although you'll see, we only have three colors going. Burbling, by the way, this, whoops, this is our problem child. The only one that I had to work on quite a bit to get it to float. So we're going to do that one all by itself. Is it better on this side? I don't know. Oh, I didn't even tell you what this one was. Ah, my bad. This is pink with black. I get it. One second. Give me a minute. That's the other one. This one right here. Pink with black vein, like a light pink with that dark vein all through it. Very cool. They also have a dark pink with uh, black vein, I think. Yeah, dark pink with black vein, and we're going to do that one next. There we go. Dark pink black vein in case you want to see the uh, item number and the description there this one is more like um, kind of like a raspberry I guess got a purple vibe to it there we go so I'm trying to get my hands out of the way for the light but not lose focus looks really nice both of these the pink I would say is subdued right so if you're looking for a hot pink kind of head this isn't going to be the one for you or the other one but if you're looking for a different kind of pink like that pink but kind of muted kind of a dirty pink these are the ticket two more to go our next one is black with a copper vein and if you're thinking copper mine you would be on the right track. There we go. Ooh, once you see it, will you watch it? I'm trying to let you see how it kind of does that. You can om <laughs> Wow, I can't talk. Hold on a second. When you do this in person, and you take it out of, and take it out of the uh, fluid bed or out of the dip, you watch this happen. It's all one color, right? all copper, all black, all gold, whatever. And then you watch this like etching come to life. So that was my <laughs> sad and uh, unsuccessful attempt at showing you that, but couldn't get there in time, but you get the idea. All right, this last one, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. Let's uh, clean these up just a little bit because we'll do the blue together. I've already um, stirred it, but just to make sure, just so it breaks up. If you don't do that, 
the powder paint will rise like as a pancake and then somewhere in there the air pops through and you get this explosion all right so i got nothing in here yet i'll show you when it gets interesting and just slowly add pressure to the system stir into those volcanoes on the edges that helps i'm turning the pressure up as i do that oftentimes you just need more pressure and it kind of lifts it and gets rid of all that stuff and then it'll kind of settle in and it'll be at least doable here we go that's what she looks like like a uh, blue purple like a violet almost although it's royal blue but that silver when you get the silver in there you get a lot of reflection and it looks nice welcome to day two that was a successful evening of painting those bad boys up pretty late so you can see i have a new shirt on it is the next day i went ahead and put those in the oven last night same curing process 325 350 for about 20 minutes they all came out beautiful a little bit of uh maybe extra veining like i mentioned might happen on a couple got eyes on all of them so let me show you sweetness almost all of these except for that chartreuse right there i told you i was going to do chartreuse with the purple but except for that chartreuse right there all these are dead meat custom eyes really really came out nice these vein paints are absolute must if you like paints that give you two different colors in one dip or some extra um, texture on your jig heads. Man, I do. I absolutely love them. I'm going to be using all of them because they're freaking awesome. Definitely go check those guys out at Barlow's. There'll be a link down below, just like always. Appreciate you coming along with me for the journey today. Until the next time, see you guys in the shop.